Hey YouTube, this is Bionic Rampage with Control Delete Studios, and long time no see. It's been a while. I, I definitely apologize for that. I think it's been, what, almost two and a half months? That's that's too long to go without some Control Alt Delete Studios videos. I mean, come on. It's just too much. I, I know you guys were craving this, but um, anyways, what you are looking at this crazy screen, you're probably thinking like, Whoa, what's this crazy thing looking right here? And if you've been living under a rock for the past couple of days, um, this is Windows 8. It is um, the new operating system from Microsoft going to replace Windows 7. I have no idea when it will come out, but the consumer preview was released a couple of days ago. And um, this is it. Um, I installed it through going through VirtualBox, which is just a virtualization um, program to run operating systems over your regular operating system without having to over install or partition hard drives or anything like that. It partitions a virtual hard drive for you, which is really nice. If you want instructions on that, I'll put a link in the description for you. Um, and I'll put a link down to the consumer preview um, so that you can get that and install it on your computer. Um, Anyway, I just thought as this would be a perfect time to update you on what's going on with me. The reason I haven't been doing any videos recently is just schoolwork, um, kind of freaking out about colleges, haven't heard anything. I got accepted to two colleges, Indiana University and Ball State University, but I've not heard back from Chapman, LMU, or USC in California about their film schools. Um, but it should in the, in the next couple weeks. So I'll update you guys on that as well, if you guys care. I don't even know if you guys do. But I'm sure somebody out there wants to know. Um, but uh, anyway, so I've been busy with that type of stuff, essays, finals. Um, and I just haven't been able to get around to um, editing clips together, putting them up, uploading them, any of that. And I apologize for that because um, you guys subscribe expecting videos fairly regularly. And it's been two and a half months, and I apologize for taking so long. But anyway, I'm back today with... Windows 8 to show you out some of the features. Um, I've only gotten to play around a little bit with it. Um, like for instance, I've set up my Xbox Companion, which you can see right now um, at preview to loads. And basically what this kind of does is it allows you to kind of control your Xbox from your PC, which is kind of cool, as long as it's on your net, as long as you're on the same network. And it's connecting right here. Um, and I apologize for the screen resolution. It, I can't get it past this for whatever reason because the options are very limited. Um, I can show you that in a little bit. But um, as soon as this connects, I can show you what this is all about. Um, if it will connect, that is. And it looks like my Xbox just came up with something that says Bionic Rampage is connected with Xbox Companion. So it signs you in on your Xbox. Um, and it's running a little bit laggy because um, it's uh, I'm, I've got fraps running as well. So like you can scroll through here with the mouse wheel, and um, a lot of this is still very uh, optimized for touchscreen tablets. Um, so I mean, but it works it works nicely with the with a desktop. So like if I were to click on I don't know, let's click on Dark Souls and see what's up. Um, do do do, come on. And my Xbox just came up with something. It comes up with the same with the same details about Dark Souls. And then if I hit play on Xbox, maybe play on Xbox. Oh, it's not letting me do it. It's asking me for the discs. So I don't have the disc in. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, that's basically what you can do. You can, you can start up games from the computer, which is kind of cool. we will go home. Sorry, it's a little laggy because of the fraps running in the background. But um, it's still really cool. You can purchase stuff from the Xbox Live Arcade, purchase videos, purchase games, all from your computer. It's all integrated, and you're updated when your friends sign on and stuff like that so there's no extra widgets that you'll need for that and then to get back to the start menu which is what you saw before is the start menu you hit the start um, key on your keyboard 
and just brings you back to this. So um, there's also over here, there is like you can see like the time shows up and stuff like that. As long as you get this get over this little thing. Um, here you can access your settings, which is all right here. The settings, show administrative, uh, that's literally like all, yeah, show administrative tools. That's literally like all the settings that are there. And just fine, you can turn it off from there. Weather, I think that's weather. Oh no, that's the brightness, okay. Notifications, all that good stuff. And now that I turned administrative tools on, um, I can go back to here because I have 64-bit um, installed and this is basically like all of your um, control panel options like color man computer management system information local security stuff print management disk cleanup all of these um, administrative tools that are normally in control panel and you can just enable them through this which is nice let's go settings and then I can just turn those off real quick Oop. see Simple as that, and they go away. Um, again, I haven't I haven't gone through a lot of these. Oh, okay, this is kind of nice. I can adjust because there's actually a lock screen, which is really weird to me. Um, I can adjust like the color. What all this is? Oh, I actually kind of like the gray and the orange. Let's keep it on that. Um, Notifications, you know, general uh, home group sync settings. Uh, you can seek your contacts from your devices. Um, this, these are all, you know, USB devices, microphone, headphone, all that good stuff. Um, my Xbox, I think, I think that's what that is, or is that uh, no? That's VirtualBox hard disks. That's um, the virtual machine that VirtualBox uses. Um, so to go back, you hit the start key once again. And uh, you actually have a desktop, which is right here. And this is what it looks like with the little beta fish for because it's a beta, um, which is kind of cute. But hopefully that goes away. Um, and you'll notice the first thing right off the start is that there is no start button. And that is because they are, they're, in, they're integrating it for tablets to where you just have to hit the home button on the tablet, which is on the device itself, and not a, uh, a touch screen. Um, button, but it's actually like a, a button on, on the device itself, and then that'll bring you to this, kind of like how the start screen works for um, for the desktop version. So, but from here you can, there's Windows Explorer and Internet Explorer, so I can go to Internet Explorer. Doo -doo -doo. And as always, Internet Explorer is slow, but just maximize that. Ah, Limbaugh has a TV spat. And as you can see, I haven't gone on here. Barkley wants to just shoot NBA fans. You know, all these crazy headlines you get from MSNBC. New same-sex okayed and more. After Twisters, strangers help out strangers. Tiger off the rough star at Honda Classic. Okay, enough of reading headlines. Um, oops, sorry. Like, as you can see, this works just like any other internet. Like, we can go to the um, Reddit. I can just go to Reddit, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty true. Yeah, that's true. I love Reddit. Anyway, um, we can exit out of that. So that works just like everything else. Um, one new other important feature on here is the App Store, which I've not had a lot of time to work with, but it is kind of cool and I don't know why this won't go away but um, nope there we go there's not a lot of apps there's some games like cut the rope and like a pinball game that you can get and this pirates love daisies I don't know let's try out the cut the rope I guess let's see what happens when I hit this and go to install this so I partitioned off 25 gigabytes for this and I think it only took up 13 so I still have room to download stuff onto this Virtual machine. So go. But um, yeah, uh, I saw this yesterday. Or, um, because he when the by when I'm filming this, today's March first. This will probably go up on March second. Um, because it's like 
it's 8 o'clock at night right now. It's no longer available. But uh, this will probably go up March 2nd. Oh, there's updates. Look at this. I have updates. Let's see what's going on here. This craziness. I just installed this, and this, there's updates. But um, anyway, I installed this yesterday, actually, and then I, I had to reinstall it today. I was originally going to film this earlier today, but I was running into some issues. But um, yeah, I saw this yesterday, February 29th, when they uh, released it, and I installed it, and I was got a little time to mess around with it. It was kind of late at night, but I had to go to bed. No updates available. What? What are you telling me then? As you can see, it's a little glitchy. Not a lot of things load at first. Um. Yeah, like there's Autodesk Sketchbook, like a lot of stuff you would find on like a Windows 7 phone, which I guess will be Windows 8 pretty soon here. But they're they're trying to bring together the Windows 7, the Xbox, the Windows 7 phone, the Xbox 360, and the eventual 720 and Win and the Windows Desktop all together. Um, let's try to cut the rope again. Um, they're just trying to bring it all together. See now it loads. But they're just, they're bringing it all together kind of like how Mac works. They're finally kind of adopting that, uh, that mentality, which I kind of appreciate because they're, they're very like against it for the longest time. Um, so it's kind of nice to see that they're going that route, but let's see, it's installing. It's currently downloading. It's going to take forever. It's probably going to take forever. Let's see what updates I have. Uh, oh, now it's not telling me I have updates. Yes, as you can see, it's very glit. It's a little buggy. But there's like WordPress. There's F Fisamajig. I I don't know what that is. Sounds offensive. Um, AccuWeather apps and widgets, I guess that you can download, like P PC protection apps. All you know, stuff that. It's kind of nice. They're kind of going with like the app store that Mac has, but um, business. I can definitely see like business type people probably won't appreciate this as much as um, general general users will. General users will probably adopt this quicker than business users, and business users can probably just keep keep on using Windows Seven. I like I know my school still uses Windows XP. And for the longest time, they used Windows 2000 for the longest time, which was really annoying. Um, can I install these at the same time? Yeah, I like to install these at the same time. But anyway, let's go play Cut the Rope, which should be here. Zepto Lab. But, yeah, so this is actually kind of cool. You can play games now on your... Uh, it's all kind of integrated. Which is, is kind of nice. And I love this game on my iPod Touch. It's very addicting. And it's a little laggy on this. As you can see, there's some artifacting and stuff. Yeah, it's a little... Yeah, it's a little iffy. That's a little loud. I Hopefully you can still hear my voice over this. I'm having to turn it down. Turn down my volume. Gosh, that is really, really laggy with the fraps. I don't know how far we're going to get. Oh, Omnom is sad because my computer's slow. Well, Omnom's going to have to deal with it. Oh, that was sad. But, yeah. So, we'll just go back to menu. So now you see how that works. I rather actually really like this um, whole deal. There's a reader, but I'll probably, I don't know if I'll be like an early adopter of Windows 8, but I'll probably wait a couple months after they start working out the bugs and then I'll buy it. But this looks very promising, like I love this. Um, oh, this is a document reader, interesting. Uh -huh. hmm. Okay, and then you can go right to Internet Explorer, you can look at Xbox Live games. Um, so yeah, it's some pretty cool stuff. First things first. Well, 
Yep, there we go. I accept. Xbox Live Games app preview. Is this like playing Xbox Live games on your computer? Because that would be kind of bitching. Sign in. Pinball effects 2. I don't know what that is. Xbox Game Marketplace. I don't know what I do from here. What, what happens when I click on Call of Duty? Um, you and I are finding out together. Oh, it's just like the Xbox Companion, except I can play trailers and stuff like that. Oh, and I can buy it from here, I guess, and download it to my Xbox. Plants vs. Zombies. It's like the Xbox Live Game Store, kind of like what I was talking about earlier. Okay, well that looks cool. But uh, there's maps. It's like Google Maps. They have their own thing now. Give it a load. Oh, it's Bing. Ugh. It's the one thing I really don't like. They're really pushing Bing. Not a fan. Not a fan of Bing. Weather, calendar, people, which is like your contacts, photos, uh, messaging. Um, video is like buying movies and stuff like that. It's kind of nice. To, it's like a Zoom marketplace, I guess. So all of these things are very nice if you have need of them. If you don't have need of them, then just stick to Windows 7 when this comes out and just don't upgrade. Because, I mean, this is very different. It is drastically different from Windows 7. And I mean drastically different, as you can as you can obviously see. And a lot of people probably won't like this. I can definitely see where this might become a little bit more niche. And But, I mean, it's kind of the way it's going with the way the Xbox is laid out now and the way just Microsoft is heading, what direction they're heading in. Um, it's kind of just the way it goes, um, unfortunately. Or and um, fortunate and fortunately in some respects. So um, you're gonna have to embrace it eventually, I, I think, um, if you don't like it. And I'm sure uh, business software companies will work around it. Either that, or most businesses will go to Linux, and most business so software companies will develop more for Linux. And that might be the way it goes. And then this will become something more similar to, uh, more akin to like Mac o Mac OS X. Um, if that's the case, that's just the way it's gonna have to be, I guess. Um, but anyway, this was a quick spotlight on Windows 8 consumer preview. Um, if you liked the video, uh, like, uh, like, if you liked the video, hit the like button, uh, rate, subscribe, do all that good stuff, comment. If you have any suggestions for future videos or if you want me to upload, um, I still have, I have Shank 2 footage that I will be editing together soon to upload, possibly this weekend, if I have time. Um, I'll try and get back to you on that. But, yeah, so that's it for now. Um, I'll catch you guys next time with a more regular updated schedule, hopefully. Hopefully. I can't guarantee everything, but I will. I'll, I'll work at it. I'll work at the regularity of this. I'm like an irregular bowel movement right now. Um, just pushing hard right through. Okay, I'm done with that metaphor. Um, I guess I'll, I'll catch you guys next time, and rate, subscribe, like, all that good stuff, like I said before, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.